screencast, we'll just show you a few tips and tricks about using TweetDeck. Just a few quick things. When you open up TweetDeck, it does look a little different. Things are organized into columns. So if you happen to have multiple columns and more than just what has appeared as default, up here at the top, you can arrow between the columns like this by clicking this arrow. We'll move you across to the second page, then we'll move you back to your home page. Kind of a neat way to go. Then if you notice, if you lay your mouse on each one of these rectangles, each one is a separate column in TweetDeck. So if I quick want to go check out some BPS people by at Catlet1, I can click and that column will appear on my screen. So that is tip number one, just moving between different columns in TweetDeck using this bar. Tip number two, if you would like to add a column, simply click on Add Column. If I would like to add a column for a hashtag I follow, click on Search. If you would like to add a column for lists you follow, click on lists. So very handy to use this button just to quickly add a column for things that you need on your tweet deck. All right, tip number three. If you move your mouse, you will notice you will get a gear at the top of each of the columns. This allows you to work with the settings for that particular column. So if you would like to change the settings, you click the settings button and this is where you can add or remove notifications or pop-ups, clear a column, remove a column, or move the position of a column. So just a quick tip on where do you find that settings button? It is actually hiding until you click the top of that column that you happen to be in. So let's try that again. Click that and you will be able to see all of the setting buttons. Click again and that will disappear. All right, and one last tip for TweetDeck. There is an overall settings button that's over here in the upper right that when you click that, it will allow you to work with your settings. So if you had another Twitter account you wanted to add or a Facebook account, that's the place that you do it. If there's any general settings that need to be changed, these are the places to um, look to change those settings. So a little bit about that environment in TweetDuck.